start first of all. How how is that knee doing after after you had a surgery this offseason? Yeah, so you got a, a thing on your nose. You? Yeah. There you yeah, you got it. Okay. No, it's a there you got it. You got, you got it, you got it. Are you sure it's touching my nose? No, no, you got it now. I did? Promise, promise. Okay. All right, start over. <laughs> okay. All right. Take two. Carlos, how are you feeling? How is your knee feeling right knee after surgery this offseason? Uh, my knees are feeling really good. Uh, I think I have, we have a good plan coming up in spring training. Uh, the trainers and Buddy just to uh, make sure that my knees stay fresh for the ready for the season. Uh, my, but surgery went well and the rehab's been great. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I feel like I'm in good shape and uh, just excited to get back out there. Speaking of looking forward to him, this is your first fan fest. I don't think you were here last season. These Padre fans love you. What's been the reaction you're getting from fans when you're meeting and greeting today? Uh, you know what? They're very supportive. It's great to see. It's a great event. Um, you know, I've been part of other teams' fan fests. Like I say, it's one of the best. It's, re it's really geared towards the fans, and uh, I think they really appreciate it. I think that's uh, it's something great to build the community, to support the Padres, and and show that we're here for them. I look at I look at last year's team. I look at this year's team. It's it's the same Padres team. Mm -hmm. The same cornerstone guys. Yourself, Chase. Kelly, Denorfia, Cam, Maben. Why can this team be better than they were last season? Um, it's a good question. You know, everyone wonders, uh, you know, why teams don't make moves in the offseason and things like that. Well, I, I like to, like, refocus that. I like to get everyone's focus on the fact that, you know, when baseball's not happening, there's only one thing to talk about, and that's about free agents and moves being made. Um, a lot of times teams have quality players at quality positions, and uh, that's something that we feel like we have here, that we have. If you look at all the positions we have, we have plus players that can compete and not only compete but win against these other teams that have made moves. And that's great that they've made moves, but uh, like I said, you know, once we get on the field, things will normalize. We'll be able to talk about the game the way, uh, you know, talk about the game and focus on the game, not about the moves that are supposed to be made, that are made outside the field. Now, speaking of focus, what's the biggest piece of advice you'd give to a guy like Yasmani Grandal who's going to face the suspension and will have to earn the trust back of his teammates and some fans? You know, Yas, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing Yas in spring. You know, we're gonna, we'll be able to talk to him uh, there. A lot of us have kept in contact with him. Um, you know, he, he's, he's doing what he's supposed to do right now. And as a team, we'll pull behind him and support him, um, just like we do with any of our teammates. Last thing, what was the biggest thing you did this offseason other than watching Stanford and the Rose Bowl? Uh, I mean, I, went, I took trips, I took vacation, I trained. You know, this is what I do. This is my job. I love doing it. So a lot of time, most of my time spent in the offseason is geared towards training and getting ready for the next upcoming season. So, uh, but I had a little downtime and I took advantage of that. Thank you very much.